Oh, yeah, Mike, really good session yesterday. It was great to see you in the goal pool, as I said, by the end of that session. Probably the best I've seen you hit it, ever, I would say. Where your long game was really sort of on point there. All the positions that we discussed, if we look at this left-hand one now. And pure and simple, I put this left, left hand one on there, so to show you how good you're swinging the golf club. Take away, well, first of all, set up, fantastic, really good posture. Arm just hanging down, nice and relaxed, very athletic position. Body alignment now down sort of towards the stick there. Very, very good. Great position to start with, okay? Club goes back, on line with your toes. Club face, spine angle, perfectly in line. So really good position there now. Nice hinging of the wrist, now left arm into the chest that we just discussed and have worked on the past. So really, really good to see that left arm working better now. Much more connected. Top of the back swing, really good. It seems to be pointing left, which would be there, seems laid off. The reason being, though, is because the club's not quite gone beyond horizontal, or not quite reached horizontal. Had that club kind of kept travelling around here, then you would have a more online position. So don't feel, though, feel as though that club is laid off or pointing left. It's actually a really good position, um, just slightly short of, um, of horizontal. But from there now, so your arm's going to sort of fall back down now, left arm into your chest, shaft angle. Now, as you can see, pretty much perfectly on plane there. Club and your arms are tracking down that shaft position. Club back in front of your hands there really nicely. Excellent strike of that golf ball. Maintaining your posture, your arm position, your head staying nicely over the ball there. Lower half working really well, right knee sort of moving in. Fantastic strike, and the club now, if you watch, has literally tracked up and down that green line. And then watch it track on the way through, come up by your left shoulder. There he is, straight through the end of that green line, mate. So swing-wise, i got to say, is literally looking, I say, the best you've ever swung it. Something I've ever seen, and as a, as a result of that, the balls were flying very, very straight and long. Just be careful with the three-wood. When you're putting the ball forward, that you don't actually just sort of put it too far forward and then grip it because we said your hand sometimes gets a bit underneath, as in your right hand, and when your right hand gets a little on the strong side, it can result in those shots going that way. Now, because of the way you're swinging that golf club, the energy and the power, you're, or the speed certainly, you're creating, the golf is going a long way. So if you mishit it or misdirect it, it's going to be a lost ball if you're not careful. So... Just be mindful of that, but overall, mate, thumbs up with that goal swing, looking really, really good. Now, what we mainly focus on, obviously, was the latter part of the session with a short game there, looking at your distance control. As we said, I think, before, try and kind of visualise the club swing around the clock face. We've got 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And depending on how far you want the golf ball to go, you would either swing to 7, 8, 9, 10 or 11. What I think you found with the test that we did when we said, OK, swing the golf club back. This isn't the swing, though, but we said swing the golf club back so the club head is level with your head and the club was kind of somewhere up here, way above your head, as you could see. So when you take the golf club away now, we're trying to create the power in the takeaway. OK, how far you go back will dictate necessarily how far it goes through. So if you want to do a short, so obviously your swing length would be somewhere around this area, so the 7, 7.30 mark. And that would be, depending obviously what club you've got, 15, 20 yards or so. As we start moving towards 8 o'clock with the club face and towards 9 o'clock, we're looking now at sort of 30 yards, 40 yards. And then once you start getting above it, sort of 10, 11 o'clock, looking at the 50, 60 yards and beyond. And if you go to full swing, obviously, and the club gets somewhere around here, look at 90, 80, maybe 100 yards again, depending obviously what club you have in your hand. So try to feel that the distance is being created by the backswing, by how far you take the golf club back. If you go back too far, your brain will kind of recognise this as an error, not necessarily know what the error is, but then trying to adjust on the way down by sort of slowing down, quitting, taking power off. And that's when you sort of see the shots that we play a lot of times, stub the club in the ground, the ball sort of dribbles off in front of you. Or you try and pull the arm up to try and slow it down, and then we knife it across the green. As you said, if we can focus on, I think I mentioned before, the mini par threes, when you play on the golf course next, say, for example, you hit four greens in what we call regulations. That would be a par three in one, a par four in two, and a par five in three. If you hit four or five around, that would be very good. So, therefore, we're going to have 13 or so shots where we're going to be having a full uh, sorry, 50, 60 yard or less shot to the green. So when you get those shots, play a little par three or a little hole from there and keep your score. As I said, you're aiming to try and get as close to three as you can. Wouldn't expect to get three, obviously, straight away. Um, be very impressive if you did do that. Um, obviously, shots around the green, if you miss the first green by three or four yards and you're just chipping on, that is the start of the mini par three. It may be a five, ten yard shot, but you're still chipping and then therefore putting. Okay, So it's when you're playing a sort of small little shot onto the green 
add the shots it takes to get the green plus the putts and then work out your average in the run and just see kind of where you're at. I think at the moment you're probably going to be somewhere in the high 3.7, 3.8 maybe pushing into the four if we're not careful. Um, it doesn't seem a lot when you start talking in points, but if you've got 14 times this happens in a round of golf, you're saving 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7 shots around. Suddenly now, that's going to be seven, eight shots saved off your scorecard. So a 98 that was not your best and felt a bit frustrated, suddenly now is a 91. And therefore, you're now looking really close to breaking that 90 barrel, which I don't think will be very far off the way you're seeing the golf club make. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously, give me a shout, and I will see you soon, if not before next session. Okay, cheers, mate.